Hello, Mr. Punch. I am the devil. Oh. I am here to take you down to hell for all your sins. Okay. You've killed all these people. Well, you have to catch me first! <laughs> gets over it, then she'll be fine. Alright, well I thought I'd just raise the issue. Oh, thanks. Thank you for coming to see me. They're all wrong, you know. She led me on. Those silk pyjamas. Oh yes, those bloody silver silk ones with the top two buttons undone. The little bitch. I mean, the tits weren't big, but... I could see her nipples. Her skin was so soft. She was waiting till she was older. I mean, I'm 45. She's only 12. But she has periods. I mean, if she's old enough to bleed, she's old enough to butcher. Uh, no, I didn't mean to say that. It just somebody said it in the pub. She... I didn't mean to get a drink. She could drink four cans of Stella in an hour. I mean, I only drank three. Then it happened. She looked so pretty. Just like a porcelain doll. She didn't complain when I took her top off. She was giggling at first. Then I showed her what to laugh for. She didn't laugh then.
not usually like this. Honestly, he's not. It's just... He's had a bad day at work. Or something to drink. He just... He changes. He becomes someone that... Someone I don't even know. Driver met me and the kids. Five and seven, what do they know? When I first met him, he was the best man I've ever met. But now I hardly even know him. People say I'm stupid to stay. It's not that simple, is it? It's my family. My home. I just can't take it anymore. I lost control. I don't know what happened, but he used to love me. It changed. There's just no way out. He's already given me two black eyes and broken ribs. Still can't bring this out to live. I just don't believe anything he says anymore. In fact, I think he might even be seeing someone else. It wasn't his fault. It was mine. If I'd just done what he said in the first place, then none of this would have happened. I wouldn't even be in this mess. Go into bed. 